welcome to your journaling section of this course. This is probably gonna be really fun. If you've never journaled before, I think you're gonna love it. All you're gonna need for this is your favorite notebook or just paper, plain paper, and also a pen or pencil or your favorite thing to write with. Um, I wouldn't recommend writing on your phone, an iPad, a laptop, because the way that we write using our hands, it unlocks a different part of our brain. And if we're just typing, we could get distracted thinking about other things. So I definitely recommend finding yourself a comfortable place where you're not gonna be distracted. You could even you know, light a candle, have some aromatherapy, have a nice cup of coffee. So there's gonna be five questions for each element and I'm gonna give you two minutes to answer each one. You don't need to pause the video, I'm gonna put the question on the screen for the two minutes so if you need reminding you can just look at the, the screen and go okay yeah and then carry on writing. And if you never journaled before then I really hope you enjoy this, this is a great way to explore yourself and have some fun and if you have journaled before just follow along each of the questions is related to the elements and let's just get going Welcome to your Earth journaling practice. Now, Earth, as we have explored this week, it's all about money mindset, it's abundance, it's feeling safe, feeling secure. I'm gonna give you five questions, so make sure that you have your notebook and your pen ready to go. Your first journaling prompt is to write a gratitude list for two minutes straight. I want you to think about everything in your life that you're grateful for, from your eyesight, from your body, to the physical things around you, maybe what's, whatever's in your space. I just want you to have fun with this and really in that two minutes, just have your pen to paper, don't stop writing. Think of all the things that you're grateful for. Your second journal question is, if you had 50,000 pounds, dollars, euros, whatever your currency is, landing in your bank account right now, what would you spend it on? Now I ask this because I want to expand our money mindset. If you haven't really thought of money before or you think 50,000 is too much, that's a great indication that you're, you have a money mindset that's quite limiting. We live in an abundant universe and anything is possible. So I want you to just let your imagination run wild as if you know there's no limits, all the possibilities. 50,000 is yours. What are you gonna do with it?
Your third journaling prompt is to write yourself a happy list for two minutes. It's a little bit different from the gratitude list. I want you to write what makes you happy. It's not what makes your friends happy, society happy, your family, your partners happy. It's what makes you happy. I'm just going to take an example. I love baths. I love hot chocolate. I love candles. I love the sunshine. I love animals. That is my happy list. It doesn't have to be anything grandiose and massive. It can be literally the simplest thing as you just love looking out the window and seeing a bird fly by. So make your happy list two minutes off you go. That should have felt really nice to understand what makes you happy because even the smallest things can bring us joy and it's part of manifesting is to be in a state of happiness even when things aren't going the way you want or you're feeling impatient happy like going back to that happy list is always going to serve you so i was going to make you feel good and the fourth question your journal prompt question is this is a fun one <laughs> what is your spirit animal and why what are the qualities of that animal that you really um, admire and are in inspired by? So I want you to take some time. The first animal that's just come to your head is usually the one that's your spirit animal. And I just want you to have fun exploring that animal in this two minute journal prompt.
Your final and fifth question is, what can you learn from the elements of Earth? If you think about Earth in general, as in it's always here supporting us, it's full of abundance, it provides us with nutritious food. If you think about plants and trees, they are very stable, they're very grounded. If you can think of Earth for a second and all the things that we have been learning from it, what is it that you specifically want to take from the elements of Earth? Two minutes, off you go. And that is our journal prompts for the element of earth. That is your activity for the day done. I hope you like doing something a bit different. This course is meant to include everything from movement, using our bodies, using our minds, and journaling is a great way to just tap into our subconscious mind even more. And to get back to writing, if you don't really journal a lot, maybe you found you really enjoyed this session and feeling in a state of gratitude and happiness as well. I also recommend do the gratitude list every day if you can, just one to three things a day that you're grateful for will really put into perspective how lucky that you are and how incredible that you are in your life is when you think about the smallest things like the fact that you can even access the internet to watch this video. And I just want to say thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed today's activity. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one.